Welcome back to Outdoor Guys. Today we're gonna do a tackle warehouse unboxing. I got a reel from Bass Pro. New ride, a new reel. We got some Mega Bass stuff. We got some new frogs from uh, Tackle. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I almost lost you there. Uh, the camera went. Um, and I also got some Gary Yamamoto custom baits. Before we get started though, make sure you drop a comment down below and let me know what new tackle you guys got. Um, give this video a like if you liked it. Ring that notification bell so you get all my content as soon as it drops. And also smash that subscribe button down. Alright, let's start with the fun stuff. I got the Shimano X Pride. It's a 7 foot medium. I needed a 7 foot rod and this is perfect for, you know, all around fishing. This is the X-Pride B, so it's a newer model, and you can see it's got like the monocoque handle on it. I think this is, it's the S7 foot 70 MB, um, and it says versatile. Basically, this is an all-around spinning rod, so you can see I got tied on. If you watched my last unboxing, this is the Storm Largo Shed. I got that tied on. Stay tuned to the channel because we're going to take this to the reservoir and try to hook up with some uh, bass. All right, so... This rod is rated 3 16 to half ounce. So I'm gonna be throwing stuff like smaller swim baits. Um, I think they tuned or you know designed these X Pride B rods for finesse applications. Um, I got the Vanford 2500 on here. We're gonna go over that next. Both of these are brand new. Back to the rod, I just wanna be able to have, you know, a a seven footer that I can throw like you know poppers on like I said swim baits also I could throw you know like a Texas rig Cinco or a wacky rig um, it's kind of limitless with you know a seven foot medium fast rod so if you're looking for like if you're new to bass fishing or you're looking for like an all-around rod something you want to be looking at I haven't fished this like I said stay tuned to the channel um, we'll take it out I want to fish it obviously before I give you guys my opinion on it but I can tell you um, right now from my first impressions it's super light especially with the Vanford on it I think this is like a perfect match so you got if you can see I'll try to get a closer look it's got that high power X uh, wrapping on it it's actually a carbon fiber blank and um, that strengthens the rod while it also like makes the rod lighter. I got this from Tackle Warehouse. You can go on there and look. I think this was like around 280-ish. It's got the SIC, the, the Fuji guides on it. Um, it's, it's black all the way through and then it's got a little bit of cork here. You know, this knob here is also cork and then it's that monocoque handle which it gives you more sensitivity. I think it's like by 30%. I think it all just fits really well. Um, I really like the look and feel of it. Um, it's not too much cork. I think it's the perfect amount and it also has the uh, the CI4 plus real seed on it. You can't really see it because I have the Vanford on it, but um, Yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the rod. Um, I don't want to talk too much about it I want to fish it like I said um, We can jump right to the reel. This is a 2500 size Shimano Vanford and this came out like two years ago. It's not a brand new reel, but I haven't tried it yet and I love trying new stuff. Um, I'm a huge Shimano fan if you haven't noticed but you know as far as the reel goes I think they geared this reel towards finesse applications as well. Um, I'm still going to throw other stuff on the setup guys. It's not just going to be finesse. I actually have 30 pound braid which is probably on the higher end but I've always run 30 on my spinning setups and never had an issue. So. I do have a 10 pound liter uh, fluorocarbon Sunline Sniper attached to the main line, especially, you know, because the reservoir is clearer water and stuff like that. But I think the reel only weighs a little over six ounces, guys. So that's crazy. Um, this, like I said, it's a really awesome feeling setup. They also got 20 pounds of drag in this Vanford. So um, it is coated as well, so like I have seen or also read and seen people fishing these in for inshore stuff. So like, especially for the price, I don't, I think you're getting a lot with this reel. I've had the Stratix, I have a Sustain over there, and I felt like this just fit in between those two. And I can't wait to fish this. Um, I think that's pretty much it about the uh the reel i did go with the 2500 over the 3000 just because i like the handle it has a little smaller handle on it and 
I've caught some bigger fish on like a smaller rod with the 2500 and it did perfectly fine. So like if you're, you know, a lot of this stuff is preference, but if you're back and forth, hopefully that can help you out with making the decision on what size. I used to always be like, well, it's a seven footer, so you gotta have a 3000 size reel, but um, I'm trying the 2500 this time because I do have a lot of experience with this size reel. So I did get the reel from Bass Pro and it was around like 250 plus tax. So just wanted to throw that in there. All right, let's move on to the other baits that I got. Um, try to keep this video short for you guys. Stay tuned. All right, let's 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 go to the Mega Bass stuff. Let's start with the uh, Mega Bass Battalion. And this is GG Gill. And let me see. This is one and three eighths of an ounce, and this is the floating version. Go ahead and open this up real quick. You can check that out right there. Nice big treble hooks on it. Got like a deep rattle to it. I love this pattern. I have this in another gill pattern. I um, haven't fished these much, but I need to. Um, I think this is close. I think it's around 30 bucks. Um, but it's mega bad, so it's something that I'm uh, I'm really looking forward to fishing. All right, so the Vitalian guys is four and a half inches long. It's made to be fished shallow in the one to three foot range, and it's tuned. You can fish this fast or slow, which is awesome. If you do uh, like, if you retrieve this on uh, slower retrieve, it will have like uh, slow, uh, sharp turns to it. And then if you fish it fast, it'll have like a hard, like rolling action to it. So. Um, pretty versatile bait. I don't have a lot of experience with the Vitalian at all, um, but it's something I'm going to be throwing for sure. I think it uh, it fills a gap, and it also is a unique bait. So, all right, let's move on. This is the Mega Bass Vitalian X Vibration, and I ordered these from overseas. I actually got them from Japan Tackle. This was a unique bait for me because it's a lot smaller, more finessier than the Vitalian I just showed you. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack these open. And these are 3 eighths of an ounce. This one is in evening gill, okay? And this is super small. Um, they do have a, if you can see, they do have a lip on them. So they do dive a little bit, but the unique thing about this bait is it will float back up, so like I think that's killer. So you can kill it, you know, like a crankbait, and it's gonna float back up, but more of a real life imitation of a bluegill. Got some rattles in it there too as well. I'm holding it up to the light, and you can kind of you can kind of see through it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but uh, yeah, that's that one. So let's move on to this one is wagging. <laughs> this is this is gonna be a tough one. Um, wagon. Oh yeah, Narami. That's probably a terrible um, way to say the name, but this these baits are the slow floating version. I, I believe they have a, a slow sink as well. This color reminds you of like a cichlid pattern. But yeah, guys, that's them. Let's go ahead and move on to some more fun stuff. Um, hold on. All right, so we got two new frogs from Tackle, and this is the Clinker over, let's see, over here, and this is the Maracker. Um, the Maracers have been out of stock for a while. So the Maracker we got in black and blue, and then the Clinker we got in bluegill. I got a real weak spot for frogs, so I'm gonna be getting more of these, there's no doubt. Um, I'm a big fan of Tackle Sprinker frogs. I've caught some fish on them, I have a ton of them. I love that bait. and. They just seem to uh, keep adding stuff to these things that um, just make them different. You know what I mean? And this has a rattle in it. Plus, it's shiny, so it has a, f a flash. I'm pretty sure these are designed to like fish over mats, you know, so bass can find it with that rattle. Or if they see it shine, it'll help them, you know, bust through that mat and tear these things up. But this is just one that I wanted to add to my arsenal just because I'm already a fan and I think... I think that's gonna get bit. You know what I mean? So that was the reason why I picked this up. But yeah, that's the Maracker Frog. And then let's move on to the Clinker. And this one's brand new. These just came out not that long ago. This is the bluegill color. Pretty cool uh, bluegill color there. And this 
is like I believe this is designed to be more like a fish like a wake bait so it has these two blades on the back um, it has a silver and a gold one and there is some videos out there if you guys want to check it out of people fishing these and it just makes a racket and it's kind of like a weedless wake bait you know what I mean in a frog form and uh, this is another one I'm excited to throw you can hear that right there um, that's gonna make some commotion that thing is gonna get destroyed so that's my my two newest frogs like I said I'm gonna be getting more colors so stay tuned to the channel look out for those all right let's move on to the last thing all right so we got some Yamamoto baits flapping hogs and I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these out there's a large size which isn't as big as I thought and there's a smaller size so uh, there's seven in the smaller size and five in the bigger sizes let's go ahead and take this out I got it in green pumpkin with black flake in the smaller size I know a lot of people use these as like jig trailers but I'm personally gonna use it more as like a Texas rig I've seen these things in the action I did kind of notice like with the cross style baits from Yamamoto baits, they didn't seem to have a lot of action. I think this one might have a little bit more or just enough. So I'm excited to try these out. Um, I'm gonna fish these, like I said, I'm gonna try them first on a Texas rig and uh, see how they do. But I have confidence in Yamamoto baits, so I wanna expand, you know, my inventory with their stuff. That way I can, you know, try some some new style baits instead of just the Senko, but that's so hard to come off of because it's so effective. Let me show you the, uh, let me show you the bigger size now. And let me show you what colors I got in those. All right, so we got black, black with a uh, large blue flake. We got green pumpkin with black flake. Same thing as the, uh, the smaller version I just showed you. And then we have watermelon with copper orange with red should be really good in the springtime um, i'll go ahead and take one of these out so you guys can see the size difference these aren't really scented guys but i'm pretty sure they have all the salt just like the uh the Cinco's do but there's the size difference check it there we go okay we'll flip them around this way it's a bigger one over here it's a smaller one just so you guys know i mean to me like, that'll be the one I'll be throwing on a Texas rig. It's not overly big. I know some soft plastics, when you look at the bigger size, or I have in the past, they seem too big. So, I think this is perfect size. Maybe throw that other smaller one on a jig, and this will be my Texas rig for sure. All right, guys, that's it. I'll be having more unboxings uh, in the future. Got some stuff. I got in my uh, cart or save for later from tackle warehouse that always gets me in trouble but i got some stuff that i do want to get before the spring so definitely stay tuned to the channel drop a comment like i said let me know what you guys recently picked up as far as baits go or you know rods and reels any of that stuff ring that notification bell so you get all my content as soon as it drops definitely smash that subscribe button down until the next one you have officially been out door